Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to share a few tips and tricks to improve your Windows development experience. A few years ago Windows wasn't really a great choice for development, but nowadays, thanks to a handful of features, this is not the case anymore. So without further ado, let's get started. The first and most important feature is the so-called Windows subsystem for Linux, which allows you to run Linux commands alongside your Windows installation without any virtual machine and without rebooting your system. So let me give you an example. I can open a Ubuntu shell right in my Windows machine and then type most of the comments I would have in a regular Ubuntu installation. For example, I could curl Google or I could find and a ton of other comments. And this is incredibly useful when developing in languages that are most suited for Linux installations, for example, Ruby or PHP, or even if you want to compile a native C program. In that case, Linux is far more convenient than the Windows counterpart. Installing it is pretty trivial. If you want to install Windows Subsystem for Linux version one, you can simply pass this command right here inside an administrator command prompt, and then you reboot your computer, and then you head to the Microsoft Store to install your favorite Linux distribution. I personally go with Ubuntu because it's the most widely spread one, but you can really choose whatever you want. Another very useful feature is the so-called Windows Sandbox, which allows you to run a Windows instance inside your regular machine, sort of like a Windows virtual machine, for example. This is incredibly useful because you can simply open the app, Windows Sandbox, and you are given a new clean Windows installation that you can use mainly for two reasons. The first one is that you may want to verify if your application can be deployed easily on clean systems. And the second one is that being an isolated version of Windows, you can use it to run software that you don't really trust. For example, you may have downloaded a program from the internet and it might contain a virus or some malware. In that case, you may run it inside the Windows sandbox by simply copying and pasting the executable and then everything that will happen inside the sandbox will remain inside the sandbox. So no risk for your machine. And when you're done using it, you can simply close the application and then everything is gone and you're good to go with the next project. A couple of remarks. The first one is that Windows Sandbox is only available if you have Windows Professional version. So if you are running Windows Home Edition, then unfortunately you will not be able to run it. And the second one is that uh, you need to enable virtualization. And when you do, VirtualBox doesn't work anymore. So you will either run a Windows Sandbox or VirtualBox. You can simply run a command in the terminal to switch between these two modes. To enable it, you can simply follow these steps. It's just a matter of enabling a checkbox and then you're good to go. Right, so then we have a couple of very useful features. Let's say that you are inside a folder in Explorer and you may want to open a terminal here. One thing you could do is just opening the command prompt, then CD into it, okay? And that's fine, but it's cumbersome. Another very nice trick that you can use is uh, holding shift and then right clicking inside Explorer, you will see open PowerShell window here. And as you can see, I'll now have a PowerShell window opened inside the folder and I can run all my favorite commands. In the same way, we can do another very useful thing. If we hold shift and right click on a file, we will see copy as path that we can use to copy the actual path to the file, which again is incredibly useful if you're running comments in a prompt or other situations. For power users, you may want to install Power Toys by Microsoft, which is uh, basically a collection of tools. For example, a color picker, which is my personal favorite. You can just uh, press Windows, Shift and C. And as you can see, I have a color picker now that I can use to copy the color code and this is incredibly useful for example when making a design or coding a website and you have a bunch more you have fancy zone which is a window manager and then a bunch of other tools installation is very trivial you just need to download the installer from the releases page and then you get a new program inside your windows installation that you can use to customize the behavior of the power toys all right so that was all for this video i really hope you liked it if you did please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel because i will post lots of other interesting content and i hope to see you in the next video